Hi, it's that time of the year where I reveal my most favorite whiskey I tried in 2021. Keeping in line with uh, last year, I've decided to not record the video in my office. Instead, I've come out to this beautiful lake, Lake Kainui, which is local to us, to talk a little bit about the whiskey that is my favorite in 2021. Naming a particular whiskey as my personal whiskey of the year serves real no purpose. All it does is locks it in as a memory in my head as a whiskey connoisseur and a great lover of whiskies as a particular whiskey that evokes amazing emotions because it is a whiskey I like. Every time I drink it, it puts me in a good mood. 2021 um, has been a challenging year to say the least for everyone in many regards you know we are all still separated because of lockdowns and not able to enjoy key celebrations key moments of life that's why having a whiskey of the year allows personally me a moment of happiness you know to drink a whiskey that I guess makes me happy, something I truly like, something I've tried again and again and again. And this particular uh, instance, tried many bottles of it and shared with friends. That's probably the most important part of a whiskey that you really like. Why do I like single cask whiskey so much? I think if you put it into a human perspective and take sports for example you know we are very individual we're very good or very bad in our respective ways or we could be a an eight out of a ten or a nine out of a ten or sometimes four out of a ten on an individual basis but if you put that into whiskey's terms you know and you think of official bottlings like say a Glen Morangi 10 or a Glen Fiddick 12 you know all amazing terrific whiskies which are being married together with hundreds and thousands of barrels over the years and to present to you a unique but consistent whiskey whereas a single cast whiskey in my humble opinion gives you this unique opportunity to try something that's very individual it's very stand alone experience in a unique way as I like my whiskies a certain way I really think single cast whiskies present us with that unique opportunity to drink whiskey from one barrel or one cask and truly appreciate it for what it's worth as a standalone cask rather than been being married with one, two, or tens or hundreds of thousands of other barrels to make it a flat experience. That doesn't necessarily mean I don't like official bottlings. You know, I've drunk a lot of Aaron Sherry cask in the last year, and I've been very vocal about how much I've enjoyed it. But this one in particular, amongst other single cask whiskies I've tried over the last 12 months, have left a deep impression on me. An impression that um, makes me happy <laughs> like this one 2021 like last year suffered a little in terms of global distribution of good whiskies and um, for me in particular and my friends here in the whiskey community being at the bottom of the world in New Zealand we tend to be very low in terms of uh, priorities and also it literally takes many months to send stock here so in terms of options of single cast whiskies it has been slim pickings this year in particular from Ben Riak who have um, 
in the past absolutely spoiled us in large with Asia Pacific trading um, whiskey trading setup you know with Japan Australia and Hong Kong but this year they've only seen one single cask and it is in fact this one which I suppose in a weird way in the last two years the amount of Ben Reacts have tried and spoken very highly of them and shared them wide I kind of wanted to fall in love with it you know because I was so desperate to try something new something unique and along came this single cast 13 year old Moscatel calf which is just so good so good I think uh, importance of water is um, very well understood especially in whiskey making you know the famous quote you only need three things to make a high quality single malt whiskey is water barley and yeast and um, this particular lake here which I've come to today has got a very dark history you know it's got a history of a lot of pollution running off the farms and all that kind of stuff and a lot of money and a lot of effort currently is going into reviving this lake and the surroundings and um, a lot of very good companies have been donating and council has been working very hard to revive this lake back to its glory and it's getting there the water's still a bit murky but it's getting there but I just wanted to highlight this is this is very important we got to do this you know I mean we can deny human pollution or global warming and all that kind of stuff but it's here and if we don't look after this water there could be no whiskey in the future I can actually remember precisely the day this particular single cast bottles turned up at my store and um, it was 9th of September I knew they were coming because I had ordered them and um, I remember the courier guy turning up and I literally snatched the two cases out of his hands and happened to have some friends over for a bit of a chat and a cigar and I popped the cork off first bottle immediately just to try it because I was dying to try it because it's the only Ben React single cast that's come to New Zealand and I wanted to be in love with it. So I opened the cork, put it into the glass and it was just magic magic you know being in a mosquito cask i expected it to be sweet and light and fruity and it delivered big time on that you know very light very aromatic the intertwining magic of citrus and tropical fruits was just beyond outstanding and the couple of friends i shared it with were in love with it and i said it to them then hey look and you could go ask for them. I'm not going to name them, but they know who they are. I said it to them, Dean, if nothing earth shattering is going to turn up in the next, well, three and a half months, just under four months, this will be the whiskey of the year. And here we are today. So this is it. Ben React single cask. Cast in 2007, age for 13 years in a... Moscatel Hogshead bottled at a generous 58.1% ABV and um, there's a term that's used sometimes to describe whiskies you know some of the lighter fruitier whiskies can be said there could be a, a breakfast whiskey and a lot of people ask you know is that such a thing when they laugh you know is it people who drink whiskies for breakfast and um, I suppose if it's a light and fruity whiskey not too spicy not heavily sherry or peaty, you could and I would 100% say you could have this for breakfast. It's so light, so easy drinking, you know, there is loads of tropical fruits, there's so much beautiful aroma um, in this particular whiskey. You get apricot, you get mango, ripe mango, you get hints of citrus, just quite a lot going on in this particular whiskey and um ben Riach, like the glendronach single casks you know they were coming here to new zealand in big numbers but unfortunately um lately they haven't well in 2020 we didn't really get 
anything from Emory. I don't know if it's because of global shipping delays and other issues, but or is just a natural progression for the distillery to maybe put less single cast expressions out and put more unique official bottlings out, which Benriac in particular has gone through a big revamp and, you know, they have updated the image and the look and feel of the bottles. So it could be part of that as well. I, for one, would truly miss these rare, unique single cask expressions. For the last about 35, 40 minutes, I've been walking around the lake with some of the whiskey in my uh, Denver O'Leary Traveler glass. And um, it is a hot day, and I suppose, you know, it's warming up the whiskey a little bit. And, oh, it smells amazing. And, you know, not just me, but a lot of other whiskey connoisseurs would tell you, drink your whiskey at room temperature, or at least at your body's temperature. That's the most optimum temperature to drink the whiskey, you know. More of the aromas on the nose come forward. But also on the palate, it is that much more pleasing. And this at the moment is just an absolute fruit bomb. The apricot, there is a little hint of dry oak. Oh, just, it's so good. And I mean, I've shared it with some friends and tastings and... Everyone's agreed. It's just really, really good. I am deliberately not going to sip this whiskey because uh, as I approached the lake, I saw this big sign, which I'm guessing has been put up because it is New Year's and it says no drinking of alcohol at the lake. But I'm surely there's no law against me sitting here nosing it. I've tried a lot of this whiskey. I've drunk over three bottles. So... I don't really need to sip it now, so I don't want to breach any laws, but otherwise, you know, go out there, put your name onto a bottle, something you've liked, maybe an Aaron 10 year old, a Ben React 12 year old, tell the world it's your most favorite whiskey that you've tried in that particular year. It creates this amazing opportunity to talk it up and share it with friends, and most importantly, whenever you get to try that whiskey again, it it energizes you creates this amazing energy that makes you want to feel happy and you know that's what whiskey does it's supposed to make you feel happy and i want to finish a note by saying i'm probably the most laziest youtuber in the history of youtube and i haven't been uploading for a long time but life just gets in the way and i will try in 2022 to upload more regularly otherwise i wish you a very happy new year if you are watching it today on the 1st of January 2022 and also wish you a very merry prosperous year hopefully it's a little bit better than 2020 and 2021 I'll see you later bye bye